it's Mark here, and I just want to kind of do a quick walkthrough uh, of what the Donald bike really is. I noticed in looking at the content on my video that it's been almost five years since I've done any video on this bike, and that video is actually of me wrecking this thing in the cul-de-sac. So I figured it was time to maybe do a walkthrough of wrecking this thing. Wrecking this thing. Wrecking this thing. <laughs> it even has the name the Donald and also some of the upgrades that I've done to the bike through the years over the stock kit that you might get from eBay or from wherever you might be buying these uh, kits from so uh, anyway here we go and we're gonna take a look at this bike so with these bike kits one of the things you really want to do is make sure you have adequate stopping power and so what I did was I welded a tab for this disc brake kit that I got off of eBay. It came with 160 millimeter, uh, maybe 180 millimeter or 204, I'm not even really sure anymore, uh, for a front and back. I used the front and I made my own tab and welded it to the stock Cranbrook fork. Um, and then I needed some new pads for it, but this gives me great stopping power for when I'm really in the revs. I got this throttle assembly with the roller uh, way better than the plastic roller assembly and throttle tube that comes with the kit. This is from Sick Bike Parts, and this thing is phenomenal. The action is smooth. It's so worth the money. I thought it was too expensive when I got it, but this thing is so smooth for the throttle. So adjustable, and the cable is burl. This thing is a great upgrade. The carburetor that came with this kit was one of the upgraded carbs that was a speed carb. Uh, CNS, I believe, is the terminology for it, and that thing just sucked. So after studying online, I went and got just a $12 NT carb off of Amazon, 12 bucks. And this carb has solved so many of my fueling problems. So easy to adjust, one simple choke lever, and there's no speed or mixture setting. This carb at 12 bucks off of Amazon, I'll put the link in the description of the video, this carb is phenomenal. I recommend it to anybody that wants to go back to a normal carb. So one of the things that really is no good with these stock China Girl, they call them kits, is the pipe that comes with the two-stroke motor. It's not even really a pipe. It's just a tube with a muffler. So one of the things you really want to do is get some kind of an expansion chamber so that you can run it with this motor. The longer the section of pipe before the, the the expansion chamber the the difference in back pressure you're going to have and this one is a banana pipe it was like a hundred bucks uh maybe 90 bucks off of amazon but what i did was i took the pipe i had to do a little tweaking but it came already with the chamber and the infeed tube and then i took the discharge and welded on a piece of conduit to a ktm silencer this KTM silencer is off of a KTM 65 or 85 size engine, and this silencer makes it so that it just sounds just like a dirt bike, but gives me some pipe action when I get into the throttle. I really recommend that anytime you do one of these China Girl kits, you get rid of the stock pipe that comes with this and get yourself some kind of an expansion chamber so you can really get into the two-stroking of the motor. One of the things you want to really get into when you build one of these bikes, these cruiser bikes like this, this is a Walmart Cranbrook bike, and it's super cheap. It's like $99 for the entire bike, and the coaster brake on it sucks. So. What I did was I got a rim off of Craigslist and it had a whole cassette and everything on here. But what you wanna do is you wanna get an adapter kit to get rid of the cassette so that you can go to a freewheel and have the spacing be correct so that you can have brakes. Now I don't have a brake on the back, but with this cassette, I have a freewheel and I made this extender for extended dropout so I get a little more wheelbase. And then I added the adjuster so that I can adjust left to right, just like you would with a motorcycle for correcting the attitude of the rim and the chain with the motor. On a standard cruiser bike, you can't do that. But once you add this freewheel cassette and the axle adjusters, 
you can totally tune the way that the bike tracks down the road and that the chains track with the motor. Super important so that you don't have excessive chain wear. And I highly recommend that you at a minimum get rid of the coaster brake and put on a freewheel kit. So I'm gonna have to really get into the bike to show you this one, but another little recommendation is to get yourself an automotive spark plug boot, a silicone boot, and a nice wire. The wire in the boot that comes with these engine kits is no good, but you get yourself a silicone boot, a little dielectric grease, and you'll have consistent spark and a plug boot that stays on and won't break when you're riding down the road. That's no good. The silicone boot makes it so that you have a very flexible um, spark plug uh, attachment, just like you would have in your car. And it's super important so that you have good positive spark. I did have some people comment and send me messages and want to know why it was called the Donald. Well, it's funny. I won some money at Donald Trump's casino in Atlantic City probably seven or eight years ago. And I thought it was awesome that I got money from his casino and was already planning to build a gas powered bicycle. So I thought to myself, Donald Trump is going to fund my new green plan. And for you people that are into politics, you might think that that's pretty funny. And so I started calling this bike build the Donald. And in retrospect, I didn't even know that I was going to be ahead of time because I had no idea that Donald Trump was going to try and run for president and then become our freaking president. So the bike's been called the Donald since probably uh, 2014 when I started the build, maybe 2013 when I won the money. Um, but anyway, that's where the name The Donald came from. So it's purely coincidental, but I thought it was funny.